It has appeared many times to be an unequal war, but Ukraine is tonight claiming a significant success. The country says it has destroyed a vital Russian warship in the Black Sea. Moscow admits their large landing vessel designed to transport troops and supplies was hit by a Ukrainian aircraft carrying guided missiles, but says it was only damaged. Whatever the truth, it represents a serious blow for Russia, who claimed to have taken a key town in Ukraine, claims Ukraine denies. Our political correspondent Shihab Khan has the details. It is a Russian warship and one that Ukraine was targeting. The Novichokask, a large landing ship, the Kyiv says it has destroyed in an airstrike. Moscow disputes that, saying it's only been damaged. But regardless, it is a blow to Russia's naval dominance. This is quite a significant event for us. We have destroyed both the ship and the occupiers, thanks to well-coordinated actions. The Air Force commander has thanked everyone who has prepared the operation and who carried it out. The Novichokask is designed to transport troops and weapons to shore, and it's not the first time Ukraine has targeted a Russian warship. Last year, they sunk this Russian cruiser, the Moskva, as Ukraine continues to target Russia's navy. Today, the Defence Secretary took to X, formerly known as Twitter, and said, this latest destruction of Putin's navy demonstrates that those who believe there's a stalemate in the Ukraine war are wrong. They haven't noticed that over the past four months, 20% of Russia's Black Sea fleet has been destroyed. Almost two years since Russia's invasion, the war is still ongoing. Despite Ukraine's counter-offensive, which began in the summer, little has changed in recent months other than this major attack. Tonight, Russia too is claiming to have made progress, saying they've seized the key town of Marinka in eastern Ukraine. Ground war is in a stalemate. Ukraine's summer offensive has failed. Russia has the initiative on parts of the Eastern Front, although it has its own problems. But what this shows is that there are parts of the conflict that are still more fluid. It comes at a time where international support for Ukraine has been waning and this attack is likely to rejuvenate the calls for more aid. In his Christmas Eve message, President Zelensky said in the end darkness would lose and he will hope that the latest attack is a signal that the conflict is moving in Ukraine's direction. Shihab Khan, ITV News.